So next, so what we can do? Oh, oh that's big! When you've got two tri beams, which are already at the eight cost. Um, yeah, no, this is this is this this will do. <laughs> this will do just fine. We throw twisted out, and then we throw stress testing, just so that we keep literally all of those things. Hello, everyone. Gobe is here for the lineup channel again with another deck for you. This time, I'm going to be using the new the new card stress testing. Um, and yes, I'm using it with twisted fate, but in a slightly different way to what other people are. Let's do this. So the deck is called Twisted Stress, and obviously it's because we're using Twisted Fate with stress testing. Uh, a lot of people are taking this down the um, like Fizz Burble route, which does make a lot of sense to them, and probably definitely is the better way to run this deck. I'd, I'd be lying if I said that was not the better way to run this deck, because definitely it's, it's going to be more consistent. Um, stress testing, obviously you could put that into discard aggro, because then it's more of a draw mechanic rather than the keeping the things which are fleeting. But we are playing this in this deck because this is actually yet again a really old thing that I always love, like uh, bringing back as much as possible. And uh, we are going to be using Twisted Fate with Tri Beam in Populator and pick a card and like all of these free costs, including Ezreal, um, of which we've got like a draw damage, which obviously make it rain works with Ezreal, as well as the fact that obviously, like, uh, hopefully it'd be getting rid of some of those low health elusives. Um, and then just picking things off, getting the Tri Beam up higher and then making counterfeit copies of that tri beam when it's higher so it's already at its accelerated um what you call it uh, number the thing with it is is that the reason why the deck like the, the problem the deck has always had is that if you pick a card and then you get the tri beams which are better than what they like i get the, the better ones if you don't have the mana to use them then it's really hard but obviously now uh stress testing means that you could just go from get rid of that fleet from pick a card and keep what you want but if you've got twisted if you've got widget twisted on the board and basically this card gets gets picked up by pick a card you leave it it gets discarded and you draw one anyway which is going to be fleeting so it does kind of like really help um to level up twisted quicker as well as the fact that it can keep your tri beams and whatnot so uh the whole deck's basic premise is um get which it gets uh twisted on the board start leveling up the tri beams as quickly as possible so you want to be mulliganing to get a tri beam in hand get which it get up counterfeit copies of the tribe beam and then just see where we go from there i'd be like i said i'd be lying i said this was a legitimate strategy it is definitely a meme strategy but it's a lot of fun to play so before we get in and see these games, bear in mind, shameless plug time, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm less active on Instagram, but I'm definitely active on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, Twitch, I'm live on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, UK time, uh, for the times which are listed on there. So if you want to come catch the crazy madness live, please feel free to, as well as the fact that obviously there's a Discord link down below. So if you want to join the Discord with the lovely community that we're starting to build up there, please feel free to. Um, thank you to everyone who's already followed subscribed on both these things the support i said is what keeps me going so honestly thank you if you haven't already why not consider it because i think it's my goal for the end of this year is to hit 5,000 um, followers and subscribers on youtube and twitch so we'll see how we do with that that's, a, that's just a, an end of year goal but do not worry about it. also if you want to you'll see that i'm wearing a lovely tail was it tom kench top here um i got a graphic designer to do a few different legends of runeterra um designs and whatnot that were in my head so yeah again merch link is down below in the description if you want to check that stuff out do not feel forced or obliged to buy anything it's just i really wanted to see some legends of runeterra merchandise and uh, there wasn't too much around that i wanted so i was like well i'll make some because i want to wear the game i love i love this game so much but anyway without further ado let's see how this deck does in a couple of matchups i I mean, I love whatever this is gonna be. I do love a hybrid deck, and the fact you paired it with Shadow Arms, I've got no idea where you're gonna be, but I 100% respect it. I'm actually gonna get rid of literally everything because I'm, there we go, I gotta try a beam right now, and this is actually a better hand. Things that work off a draw, something that's gonna give me draw, and something I can, um, what's his face, um, discard, so. Big tribe beams. I mean, obviously, so I think the hard counter, the hard counter from our opponent. I say hard counter, like 
ruination um vengeance are obviously big but also if they're running uh passes unearned passage unearned on top of something that was summoned by by tribe b would be quite devastating i'd be lying if i said that it wasn't but i really am interested to see what my opponent is doing because i said i just love any hymer deck and i do actually like hymer with shadow Owls. there is actually options in there see what my opponent does they leave which means we leave so i'm gonna go with that just for the draw Plus, we've got like, you know, quite a nice attack right now. If I would have thrown Slot Bot out, it would have just been Slot Bot at a one attack thing, whereas this is presenting five damage. It just feels better. Um, we do have a Make It Rain, but at this point in the game, they could literally just throw down. Like, I'm guessing their hand is a lot of spells. If I, if I was going to guess, I'd say I'm guessing their hand is a lot of spells. I actually don't mind doing this trade-off. Like, although I could have made it rain, I want more targets. My make it rain is such a like a, a good way of leveling Ezreal that I don't want to cheapen it by just like uh, taking out one spider. I'm willing, I'm willing to take the weight. So slot bot, slot bot hits. Oh, actually, potentially actually twisted fate is maybe the better plan. Um Potentially, there is so many things that kills him right now. I'd, I'd be lying if I said that there wasn't so many things that kill him right now. But we go. We go for the we go for blue card, and hope that static um, vengeance. Oh, sorry, not static. Uh, mystic vengeance. Get excited, and uh, th th those things don't exist. If we pretend they don't exist, maybe they won't. So if we pretend they don't exist, if we pretend all the cards which hard counter twisted don't exist, maybe they won't. <laughs> it's the fact that they're sitting on seven mount, the perfect vengeance move. They're just waiting. It's like, what are they debating here? Okay, they go for a stack. So potentially they've got a second stack. Potentially they've got a, st oh shit, a second stack shot, which is like you know, why they're kind of holding back. Right now, they wanted to make the decisions of whether or not it was worthwhile. Okay, so part of me's feeling. So we are still one away from Ruination, so they're not going to be using Ruination. Um, Time for a true I throw this skill. out because I feel that literally if they're going to stack again, because basically if we went for an open, Order they stack. Okay, so. Going to leave Twisted back. We have actually got to get excited to immediately remove Heimer from the field of play. But I feel like they're going to throw down Flash of Brilliance. Like, Flash of Brilliance. If they if they throw down multiple Flash of Brilliances, I'm actually going to be happy. Because multiple Flash of Brilliances just means Too that make it rain. Make it rain. So they're not going to use that. But they are going to put a couple of bots on the board. Which is actually nice. Because then throwing bots on the board just means that, obviously, as I say, make it rain. So we throw this Mystic Shot into Hyma and then make it rain for the finisher. So do that and then make it rain for the finisher. Ezreal just like, you know, goes up quite nicely. So they don't want to do anything. So, you know, it's like, do I leave it? But I feel like I don't. Like as much as much of me feels like, do I leave this? Don't I leave this? I know how powerful a Hyma can be on the board. And so I'd rather try to deal with him now before it's too late. Because I know how powerful a Heimer Digger on the ball can still be. Because giving him that extra turn with just full on his spell mana, he just like, he get, he's dying, but he then goes, ha cha 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 and just puts like so many other things. Okay, right. I mean, I'd be a fool, right? If I didn't do this move, he says. Hopingly. So I could actually throw a um so i could have done there as i could have thrown a counterfeit copies on top of this okay just don't just don't kill just don't don't find barrage barrage just means he could kill both ends really okay he doesn't care so we've got so this is actually what you know what i've got no idea what my opponent is playing but it feels like it's not going well <laughs> it feels like it's not going well for them so we have actually got a draw move because actually no yeah because we discard if we discard stress testing then we have already actually or we or we just get this bot on the board because why the hell not either way and plus this is helping oh, just everything everything works so 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This has all gone off perfectly. It's just a shame that our opponent has not got more. Like, I, I wish that I was against. Oh, Yugi boy. Okay, now we've got a game on. Um. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be losing. Okay, we're not gonna be losing. I say we've got a twisted fate there. Um. So what I want to do is. Because part of me is like, I want to get this at least up or maybe to the 8th slot, but I'm not going to be able to. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go... Um, pick a card on, on top of this. Sure. Pick a card on top of this, which then gets that up to the 8th slot. And then we're going to make a counterfeit copy. Knowing the fact that we've got stress testing. So if... So, so... You, 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 you win, you win this war, Yugi, but will you win the battle? So they've, they've, they've actually made this into a game now, and this is going to be the exciting bit. You've made this into a game now, Yugi. And so next, so what we can do... Oh, <laughs> oh that's big! When you've got two tri beams, which are already at the eight cost. Um, yeah, no, this is this is this this will do. <laughs> this will do just fine. We throw twisted out, and then we throw stress testing, just so that we keep literally all of those things. Um, potentially, oh, our opponent's got another yeah. ruination, and that's what they're the reason why they haven't done anything is because they're like, well, I'm gonna I'm just gonna ruinate the board again. But that does then mean they only have potential for one more ruination, and we've got some. Some really big boys. The ability to actually make these big boys even bigger. Um, with the fact that obviously we could use a get excited. To miss it. So it puts us into the nine. Like we kind of want to stay in the nah, eight to it? nine. We want to stay in the eight to nine. Once we hit ten, it's there is some good cards in there. But there are some cards which you don't want to hit in there. So oh, the ability the ability now just to, just to make even more copies. We, we, we make even more copies of Tribeam. What did they just do then? Okay, right, they did a flash of brilliance. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Um, so, yet again, we just we just make more more copies of this. So, we have just shuffled. Um, we shuffled five copies in before. So, we've now got like 10 copies. 10 copies of Tribeams. Oh, no, it's four. So, we've got eight. Eight copies got shuffled in. Eight copies of Tribeam. Already at eight. Um. <laughs> oh, you're gonna regret playing that unit. You're gonna regret playing that unit because now, um, boom! Immediately, I, I go. No, no, we'll, we, we, we'll have. No, no. I mean, it doesn't matter because as long as it's done, it doesn't matter if that dies because it's not a target spell. It still gives us the eight cost, right? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. No, this is all worked out. This, this is all worked out brilliantly i mean apart from the fact that we lose twisted so maybe we should have waited to see what celestial they got but other than that this is fine take him i've got i've got another twisted in hand and i've got other options so whoo so they always had a way of killing him basically that 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 tells me that regardless of anything we would have done he was always going to die if you know what i mean so oh it's one of our it's one of our poor men one one cost ones we could throw Twisted out, but at this point, at this point, we've got we've got loads of these, so we might as well start using them and start getting the, oh, the Leviathan! So, Ruination. <laughs> so, Ruination hits. <laughs> ruination hits, right? Oh, meow, meow, meow. So, is, is this actually, is this actually a perfection deck? Is this honestly a perfection deck? I, I'm honest. Uh, we could have gone for, uh, technically, I should have gone for just another tribe beam. Tri that probably would have been, like, if I just tribe beamed the submarine, that probably would have been death, like, for our opponent. So, that was probably the smarter move. That was probably the smarter move that I will end up regretting not just going for. So, oh. Ooh, Yugi boy. Um, yeah, I can't do anything about that. I could obviously just give myself another eight cost right now, but um, I'm gonna save the mana. I could also have thrown. I mean, could have thrown twisted out, but then they would have just ruinated. We have to be careful with that ruination with those ruinations on the board. I mean, the fact that we got Leviathan. Ah, the sweet ah, smell of sand. <laughs> oh, hi, move only you knew. THE SWEET SMELL OF SCIENCE! So, 
We could have technically made that nine cost if we really wanted to. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I'll go. I'll go with hitting Hyama with eight damage plus eight, <laughs> eight cost unit. Ooh, so fading memories is not too bad because it's an ephemeral version so it's never going to get the ability off i mean obviously i'm guessing they just wanted that for the zero cost bot so they <laughs> um they the cards in their hand must not be the best right that that's what i surmise from that is the fact that their cards they have in the hand must not be the best i'm actually potentially going to regret my decision here what was i I'm going to potentially regret my decision here, but I'm going to throw you back. I'm going to regret, aren't I? I'm going to regret my decision to throw Twisted onto this ball. No, okay, you know what? I, I'll take that. I mean, technically, I can... I'll, I'll go for the stop. I really want to go for the draw because I want to be getting closer. I want to be getting closer to my, which is my Fiji boys, but obviously, so Twisted pretty. does have a draw mechanic. So this is absolutely fine. I feel that this game, I mean, I, lo I love whatever the opponent was trying to do, but I, I honestly feel that it's just not worked out for them and things have just worked out perfectly for us. Uh, oh yeah, wait, if we actually just, if we finally leveled, we finally leveled Ezreal after everything. Ezreal is now finally leveled, so that's a thing. Um, just leveling that tribe beaming property there that's currently in our hands. Uh, I mean, to be fair, this is total BM because we could just immediately go forward, which we probably should have done, if I'm going to be honest. I feel, I mean, we, we, we've already making our opponents suffer. The least we could have done was just immediately gone forward and, and uh, oh, there's Ezreal. Oh, do, do, if they throw Leviathan out, there is a little, so, there is legitimate counter now in terms of the fact that they could do things. So we throw Ezreal out. Like, I feel bad. I feel bad for my opponent right now because it's they didn't they didn't deserve this. They didn't deserve this. Um, the devastation that has become because of this deck. They didn't they didn't deserve deserve what's happened to them. Oh, box the puss. They didn't deserve this. Um, I feel like we, we, they, they sad Poro sad Poro is sad Poro indeed, but sad times. I mean, it's just everything went perfectly. We could have gone for an extra try beam on the end there, but that might have been taking the piss a little bit too much. So I'd rather just like go with what I know is going to be the, the finisher and then just go, yeah, that that's fine. Okay, so a bit so Victor Ophelios, we know that this can be a really powerful combination, especially when those moon weapons go down to being like zero cost. So. We've got stress testing, we've got to pick a pick of cards, but a big part, like, I need a try beam in properly later. Like, as, actually, ugh, do we keep this hand? Because admittedly, it is actually a really good hand with Twisted. I'm, I'm going to end up regretting. I feel like I'm going to end up regretting this decision, but I really want a try beam because try beam, if I can level it up quickly, is amazing. But obviously, I have to get to that point and maybe, there we go, there we go. Okay, I at least feel somewhat better knowing that's in my hand. Um, so once we throw Twisted out, pick a card. Hope that he lives. Bear in mind, Twisted is very easily killable by a Mystic Shot. We are against a region that can just like a devastate a Twisted Fate very easily. And potential invoke, potential invoke Obliterate or slash um, Meteor spell as well could be an issue. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to take the risk because I'm just going to hope that if I throw Twisted out, I throw Twisted out. He's going to live and be be merry and happy and fine. If I keep telling myself that, maybe one day it might be true. Um, I'm always up for a round might as well go for that just to, just to remove something from the field of play. Because yet again, partner. if they Mystic Twisted off the board, I need to somewhat feel good about my choices. If they Mystic, so... Was weak, but look at me now. I mean, I'm going to do this move, but I feel... That I'm gonna end up regretting this, but I feel like now, boom, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, get excited. Um, maybe I can't, uh, can't survive, just survive, Twisted, survive, Twisted. Okay, Twisted's live, right? So, okay, so we've got the ability now. So, oh, Twisted, you nearly lived. Potentially, we should have kept the rummage. Potentially, we should have kept the rummage. Okay, because the thing of it is. Yeah, I don't think there's actually a way that I can 
I can save his life right now, which is it's so upsetting to me. It's so close and yet so far. Okay. I stress tested I can save Ezreal, which it's either that or play. I mean, I guess like I, I want both of those things, right? I want that target spell. I do I do actually want that target spell, so I am actually gonna go for the stress testing. It's such a shame. Like we even if so if we would have kept rummage. Even using rummage, um, I don't think would have saved us because I mean, like, we would have rummaged and then used the pill for goods, but I still don't think that would have been enough because I think it would have been one one away, right? Okay, so damage is coming for me. Try beams up to uh, try beams up a little bit, but not a lot. Um, feel like I go with this move. I mean, admittedly, of course, the goat escapes. I mean, why, why would the goat not escape at this point? looking it's looking I'd, I'd be lying if i said that things were looking Someone nice guiding, i'd be lying if i said that things were looking nice i could go for a bit of a steel move on our opponent i feel like what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for a, a draw draw of unit and then throw other unit out that seems somewhat okay that seems like a move i can live with because at least then so things are getting drawn away but then i've still got something on the board to defend other places of the board with and next turn if I go into like something like so maybe ballistic bots ignition into pilfer goods into making copies of tribeam maybe into a pick a card okay so so all, all the damage all the damage huh? it's okay it's okay we throw a ballistic out Throw a ballistic bot out, and so as I said, the plan is potentially ignition into. <laughs> right. We do this because we've that. Those are our best blocks. Those are our best blocks, so we do them. Um. Okay. Don't worry. Just, just if we keep cool, calm, and collected. Cool, calm, and collected. We then do this move. Going into making copies of that. I I can I can get by. I can get by with this plan. I can get by with a little help from my friends. Right. Okay. That bastion is potentially gonna be very helpful in, in the end. But okay, right, so we've got five we've got ones that are already at five. <laughs> Um, it's not, we're not going into their attack. I don't mind saving the mana this turn. He says, hoping, hoping that he's going to find a way out. <laughs> out of the terrible situations I put myself in. Um, okay, so, um, potentially actually playing Ezreal. We've got a Bastion option, but then like, you know, we want to be making sure, like, I, I really want to be throwing this down this turn to get rid of this. So... Moon! Um, okay. I feel that we throw this down to get rid of this. I feel somewhat okay with this plan. Not the best, because I've now just got myself past the Bastion plan, but at the same point, boom. I mean, you're not who I need to see right now. I have not got anything that I can put on top of you that makes... <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, it does say... Oh, I, I have to cast a spell on her. That's very upsetting. <laughs> it should be if a spell gets cast on her. Because then, ah, I kill you. But no, I do not. I almost feel like I have to play this. Because I have to... Actually, I mean, they've, they've not got any mana right now. Um, I might definitely end up regretting this choice. But... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it nonetheless. And just see what happens. End of the round. Just end the round. End the round there. Okay, I feel like I need to play slot bot. Okay. So we could go with more pick of cards. So part of me is then thinking, am I gonna get rid of so I feel like slot bot Daylight slot bot. Warms the heart and lights the way. Take me for a so ha, ha. we defend, we defend, yeah, we use we use you to defend glory. there. Yeah, so we use you to defend there, we use you to defend here. Um, so we could, okay, we've got that up slightly, feel 
the, the plan is that we slip these back in and do this. Just so that we've just... We, we should be making win. these guys big men. While also, the tribe beam is now getting to the point where it can kill the Eclipse Dragon. Uh, we've not actually seen either Felios or Victor yet in that deck. Of course. Of course. Why, why, why would I expect things to work out for me as I expect them to? We're going big because literally we have no other plans. So much, so much bigger card action going on right now. Okay, so stress testing. So we could actually use stress get? testing to stop... Stop the um, the things, but at this point, okay, do we get excited? Like maybe we throw this down because then that gets it up to an eight cost unit. I can't remember. I can't remember what's in the seven cost and what's in the eight cost. Like in terms of like what the good things are, what the bad things are. So I am instead just gonna go with uh, boom. Let's do that. So Ezreal's now leveled. Ezreal is now leveled. So that's that's a thing. Okay, we could still actually use the get excited. So we could technically actually still use the get excited just to make this. So we could get up to nine. What's in the nine slot? There's got to be only good things, right? I can't remember. I can't. I can't remember what's in the eight slot. I can't. Wait, Bubble Man. Bubble Man's in nine. So Bubble Man is in the nine slot. So logic dictates. <laughs> Logic dictates we try to find Bubble Man. Logic dictates we try to find the Bubble Man. I mean... What is a loon's will? What is a loon's will? We still don't... You know <laughs> So Victor's leveled. And... Um, Aphelios isn't leveled yet, but... Okay, right, so... You still live, but not well. Sod it. We've got we've got to get rid of the big we've got to get bit get rid of the big dragon man. Um and hope God hit Bubble Man. Hit Bubble Man! Oh Bubble Man! Um okay, that's good. So Bubble Man has been hit. Bubble Man has been achieved. Um So stun? Stun or they just kill the slot bot? It's gonna be a stun or kill slot bot. It's one of the two. Graviton, yep, that's a shame. That's a shame. I go through all this trouble to get Bubble Man and you can't even give me the decency of allowing me to use Bubble Man. Um, okay. So they're just trying to go wide on this board right now, which is, you know, it does make sense. It does make sense to go wide on the board, but we kind of just got to, got to wait. So I've now got the ability to... That is... Why is that... What I was going to say, why is the gap so big there? Um... We have actually got the ability to throw a Jerry Rig out and a Static. So that at least gives me a little bit more draw. Which... Oh, no! Why you do these things? Okay. I mean, if you're going to do those things, I'm at least going to get draw so I can make an informed decision right now. Okay. Stress testing doesn't really help me out. So... Use this. So we now have the ability to silence something on our opponent's side of the field, or we could go for a, a trickster. I'm gonna go for the trickster because at this moment in time I've got a stack that can deal with this. So at this moment in time there's a stack that can deal with that. Um, I'm just really hoping. Um, yeah, that's not what I needed to see. I'd, I'd, I'd be lying if I said that's what I needed to see right now. So they go, they go with, they go with knowing that they've got stuns, which does make a lot of sense. At this point, part of me's thinking, do I just throw a little bit of damage in just in case I top deck pilfered goods? I need to deal with this, but if I top deck pilfered goods, then at least that would be use, somewhat useful to me. Um, okay, right. I need to play this. <laughs> I need to play this to defend myself elusively. Um, I then rummage these two away. I wish these two away. So. I have actually... So, I feel like I... So, I can use this. <laughs> but I feel like playing the slot bot right now. Oh, but, but we could get you up. So, if I play this... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually going to play this just to make just to make my tribe beam a little bit more potent. And um, as much as we really want to play the slot bot thing, it's like a stats, but... 
You need to look at the reality of the situation and what's in front of me and think, wait a minute. Uh, Reality-wise, that's probably not wise. So, okay. Oh, that's not what I need to see. That's not what I need to see right now. Oh, of course, Hush. Hush to ruin everything. Hush just ruined it today. Okay, so this is actually like the new kind of deck that we've been expecting. Aphelios with Lee, because obviously, like... The moon weapons have got overwhelmed, they've got life steal, they've got loads of different things and their spells, which are getting you closer and closer to Lee. So Lee's just loving, loving life at that point. I'm actually gonna get rid of, I'm gonna keep one slot bot, but I'm gonna hard go for a, um, a tri-beam. Sadly, we did not hit a tri-beam. There it is. Ah, heart the card juke, it's like it knows. It comes when needed. So, throwing you out. We could throw Ezreal out next turn just to like start to get that elusive play. Okay, right, nope, nope, apparently. <laughs> apparently the elusive play was expected from us. So potentially next turn slot bot then. Like change 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 tactic to slot bot. We could actually just pass and get keep 100 percent mana. Because by keeping 100 percent mana, um, we can twisted fate into red card or even just like it basically a pilfered goods is what i'm thinking in my head oh, as much as he really wants to play that we could actually still play an ignition because then we still we still get to keep full spell mana just to fake red card and then boom pilfered goods which is then going to help this tri beam i can i can live I can live with that. I just wish that slot bot was on the board as well. That 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 would be the only thing I will say that I wish the slot bot was on the board as well. But okay, we do that. Going into the nabs. Just can't twist it, twist it. We we can level you, baby. I believe we've got a rummage. We've got. A, ooh, ooh, wait. What did we did we play any? So the only spell we have played is ignition, right? Oh, it's because they really, it's because they really wanted to do that. They might end up regretting how early they did that in the end, but we'll see. So let's see what we can steal from our opponent. Deny, deny is actually like you know somewhat useful. Uh, got you up to two cost, but as I said, so we've got a rummage spell that's going to help get um, twist up a little bit more, but obviously not not to the point where. Whoo! Um, okay, we lose, we lose you, we lose you, which I'm not gonna lie, is it, it is a blow, it is a blow, because um, obviously that's now not giving me my very quick easy. I could still discard stress testing to get another draw on top, so that's quite that's quite devastating. I mean, I could if I do that and then stress test. So my question is now, like, can I survive? this move i probably could right so it just means that my opponent's not drawing another one um it means that their felios is not getting to like a nice i mean I i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it as much as he knows that actually denying that is probably the smarter move um i'm not going to and as i said i'm probably gonna end up regretting that decision so I'm gonna discard that and potentially discard one ezreal I might end up regretting the discarding of the Ezreal, but oh, actually, the fact that the, the fact that Jerry Rig was the was the one card there, we can do that, which basically means that Twisted Levels next turn, or we could just wait. I'm gonna throw out a slot bot. I'm gonna throw out a slot bot, and then next turn, give myself the options. So it's a lot of damage to take, but I'm willing. I mean, so we could throw Jerry out, but. He's, he's, he's only going to be defending, so we would take three damage rather than um, four from a Felios. I'm willing to take that extra point of damage. I probably shouldn't be so gung ho with my with my health and damage, knowing that Lee's going to hit. But I do have a deny. Um, okay. We immediately throw down. We're going to start getting this up. We've got counterfeit copies. We've got the ability to level Twisted Fate, um, which admittedly we probably should have done in a better way, so that we could have used more mana this turn to do more damage. But it's okay. This way, we're getting closer to Ezreal's level up. Slightly. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. They still keep the elusive damage in on us. It's absolutely fine. So, part of me's thinking... Throw the Power Cascade. I don't think that's going to give me enough. I don't think that's going to give me enough to go forward into this move with Twisted. I probably should have put that onto... Um, 
Don't want to see space, guys. I should have probably put this onto the slot bot. Um, so... I could... It's like one of those things now. Do I counterfeit copies now? Or do we wait? Like the, the better counterfeit copies move is to wait. But... It does give me draw. It potentially gives me something else to... Ah! He's basically... I mean, he hasn't actually got the ability to level Lee yet. So... We could have we could have actually attacked forward with the what slot bot. Yet? There was actually no reason not to attack forward with slot bot there. So, trust me. Now the question is, do I deny this, or do I deny when he go, goes for the kick? I feel like denying the kick is gonna be the move that I'm gonna need to deny. Like I feel, I feel the kick is more the one that gets denied, but I could be wrong. We do actually want him to be the most power, the most like we do want him to be the strongest, right? Because we want to be able to, um, like basically we want we want him to be the strongest because we want him to be the one who gets stunned. Like if I say that to myself in that way, that makes more sense. Um, so I could throw out this. Welcome. Gives me blue cards. It works with them, and then we've got like fast speed, sp fast pace stuff that we can use. Or burst speed stuff that we can use that then just gives us everything else we need. So, one damage to kill you. Um, stun. Ooh, even a tri beam. I mean, this tri beam's up to five. Like, it's, it gets to a point with how many tri beams does it take to take down a Lee? <laughs> that's that's going to be what the question is going to end up being. How many tri beams does it take to kill a Lee? We're at five cost right now. So, it's quite big. Severance. It's quite big, so he now gets he now gets that, which does actually mean that he he now survives. So the idea here is they want to kill Twisted, right? The idea here is to kill Twisted Fate, right? If I use this, I still wouldn't be able to kill. So gotta trust your instincts. Gotta trust, gotta trust those instincts, even though I really don't. Because my question is, like, I could kill you right now, but the stun would go in first, so we wouldn't even get the stun on top of what's his face. I'll take, I'll take doing the one damage. I feel like, I feel like Twisted is gonna die no matter what here. Like, tw uh, Twisted dies to Lee. Yeah, Twisted dies to Lee, which is very upsetting. As I said, like, uh, it's not, it's not what I need in my life. We could actually, oh, only, like, ooh. I mean, that's not the one I was expecting, but okay. I was honestly expecting him to kill Twisted. I mean, I'm guessing Twisted. I'm guessing Twisted now dies, right? I'm guessing Twisted now dies. Uh, but we do have the stun, so we're still okay. We could even. Um, so what I could do here is I could actually throw down the deny, which then just means that everything everything goes okay. Um, I really wish I could have thrown a counterfeit copies on top of this, like I like, but I had to. That seems like the smarter move right oh, now. We that. keep, we're keeping problems for our opponent, and um, yeah, we still don't take any damage. I feel like that was the okay move. I might end up regretting it. Every one of my decisions. Um, is so there is stress testing. We've got Ezreal's, but obviously, like, you know, no, like, really good way of using Ezreal. Um, so you're at, you're at six damage now. We're at six damage. We do have deny capabilities, bear in mind, from our opponent. So if we can force, oh my god, if we can if we can force them down, if we can force them down enough, throw and get excited. Actually, no, which, if, we, if we can get red card, if we can use, if we can force our opponent to use their own shield, and then we go forward into an attack. I feel like we might be able to try. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, technically, we could just use two tri beams at this point. We could just use two tri beams on top of Lee. That is also an option. Because they might be able to deny one, but I don't think they'll be able to deny both of them. And even. Okay, actually, no, we can't do that because if he uses a spell that then bubbles him up. Or would the bubble then happen, then the red card? Okay. We've got to go for this because we do have to remove we, we have to remove Lee from the field of play. So by doing this, it then means if deny happens, we then throw the other tri beam on, and he shouldn't be able to escape from that. Technically. 
if my calculations are correct. Does mean that we lose a stress testing, but you know, uh, they knew the risks at this at this moment in time. We will still get an extra draw next turn anyway. Um, this feels like oh, come on. does does he have? They've got to have deny in that deck, right? You've got to have deny. Come on. Bastion wouldn't save them because red card would get rid of the Bastion and then that would happen. So, oh, okay, so Lee's down, which means that they've got no way of saving Aphelios either. Which means they've got no way of saving Aphelios. Um, although I feel that we, I feel that we throw this into the goat because yellow card, yellow card is going for, I mean, the fact that this has now gone down to burst speed like, for that. Um, yep, yeah, I was going to say, our opponent has got no answer to that. I was going to say, the, fact we, the second we got rid of Lee, everything was going to work out from that point. So I'm quite happy okay. that went down the way it did. So that is the Twisted Stress deck. Um, it can be stressful sometimes, I will admit this. Uh, really good. It's really quick at leveling Twisted in certain states. And just the ability of just... I just love trying to beat him in Populator. And the ability of using multiple of them. Um, I will... Like, admit to this deck it's very like your your win rate goes down if you don't top deck the which it the tribe beam immediately to be starting to level that up to then chop so i will admit that it's kind of dependent on that so that's why 100 percent this is a meme deck this is nowhere near gonna be standard or which or meta but the meme deck reason of it and like you know go is mostly plays meme decks it's quite standard um it's a lot of fun that's the one thing i will say about this deck because it's a lot of fun you never know what's gonna happen in certain bits and whatnot there is definitely probably ways of optimizing this list um for a little bit more draw um but that's up to you guys i'll leave that up to you like let me know if you make any changes to this deck if you run this deck let me know how it goes for you down in the comment section down below as well as the fact that obviously you can catch me live on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays if you want to come catch the action live link down below as well as the link to the discord if you want to join the discord but do not feel forced um as well as the fact that obviously uh like the, like the shirt i'm wearing the merch link is down below but yet again do not feel obliged to do any of that i'm just giving you your options i always like giving people options as well as the fact that just thank Thank you all so much for the support so much i'm gonna like my end of year goal is gonna be 5,000 on both this on youtube and on twitch so let's see hopefully i can make it i, I believe we can but thank you all so much and until next time bye that's your brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me! Okay. <laughs> get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me!